Okay, uh, so next topic is geometry vocabulary. Okay, this one you can refer page 7. Okay, there are a few vocabularies that sub students will come across frequently in geometry subject or other mathematics subject. So, yang ni maksudnya awak akan sentiasa jumpa terms-terms uh, di dalam uh, subject geometry ataupun subject mathematics yang lain. Okay, first statement. A sentence which is either true or false. Okay, so for statement maksudnya... Uh, Pernyataan sama ada betul atau salah. True or false. Okay. Postulate or axiom. A statement that is assumed to be true without proof. Okay. Statement is assumed to be true without proof. Maksudnya kita dah bagi tahu benda tu adalah betul uh, tanpa buktikan. Okay, next is theorem, a statement that can be deduced and proved from definitions, postulates and theorems. Maksudnya kalau theorem tu awak kena uh, buktikan. Okay, proof a sequence of true statements that establish the truth of the given statement. And then property, a sentence describe the characteristics and shapes of objects by logical reasoning. Okay, given a statement that is assumed true in the process of proving. Maksudnya kalau uh, apa ni, bila kita nak buat proses untuk buktikan sesuatu, maksudnya kalau uh, given tu adalah a statement that assume true. Maksudnya kita dah anggap benda tu adalah benda betul. Okay, definition. A sentence explain the meaning of a term being used. Reasoning any process of drawing a conclusion from a set of given true statements corollaries a statement that follows readily from a already proven statement in mathematics a corollary typically follows a theorem okay then last one is lemmas a subsidiary or intermediate theorem in an argument or proof okay so this is a a few geometry vocabulary that you need to know Okay, next is congruent and similar object. Okay, so if you can see here, okay, first terminology, two objects are said congruent if they they have the same shape and measure of angles. Hence, the corresponding parts of congruent objects are congruent to. Maksudnya, dua objek tu, awak boleh kata dia congruent jika dia mempunyai bentuk dan ukuran sudut yang sama. So, kita kata dia adalah congruent. So, yang ni adalah simbol untuk congruent. Okay. So, dia lain dengan equal. Kalau equal, dia just uh, sama dengan ada atas dan bawah. Tapi, dia ada satu lagi simbol untuk uh, congruent. Okay. So, uh, from this illustration, okay, if you can see here, we have uh, two square which are A, B, C, D and E, F, G, H. Okay. Then, if you see here, this is a same shape and same size. Ha, sebab kat sini size dia dua-dua adalah enam. So, square ABCD is congruent with square EFGH. Okay, so this is congruent. Okay, next. Two figures are similar if they are if they are of same shape but not necessary same size. Okay, beza dengan congruent tadi. Kalau similar, cuma shape dia sama tapi size Tak sama. So, notation for similar. Okay. So, yang tu. Awak kena tengok yang ni. Simbol untuk. Okay. Similar. Okay. So, if you can see here. This illustration. Okay. If you have these two squares. A, B, C, D and E, F, G, H. Okay. Uh, they have same size. Uh, sorry. They have same shape. But not same size, different size because A, B, C, D, the size is 6 and E, F, G, H, the size is 3.